challenging. Adaptation. Life changing. Strange. Creative. Blessing. Testing. Ridiculous. Critical. Frustrating. Crazy. Absolutely mental. Annoying. Bittersweet. Resilient. Game changing. situation but um, you know we've just made the best out of it um, I think it's been quite positive for us in a way because um, it was a great opportunity for my players to really work on their uh, fundamentals in terms of their ball manipulation and we always played very very good as a team um, but we did lack some creative flair in the team and, and being good and comfortable on the ball was one of our weaknesses. So we just tried to always put a positive spin on this. You know, it's, it's not an ideal situation. Yeah, we'd all rather be out on the pitch doing, you know, like we like we normally do playing football, but we're not, we're inside. So we had to make the best of it, you know, and, and that's what we said. We said the best way to get through this is with positivity. Let's use it as a productive time to get as strength up and as fitness up. Um, and also improve his ball skills, so it's, it's been good for the guys, it has been good. Good experience for us coaches, uh, especially trying to implement new exercise and stuff, bringing it over the Zoom. And the good thing is you can see uh, we are into kids, these players isolation training, where they can have contact with the ball for the full hour, which uh, is quite a rare thing for doing a team training. So I hope the boys will come back out uh, much more improved in terms of technical ability. It's been it's been super interesting. Um, I feel like it's such a new experience. It's something that none of us have experienced before. Um, it's been really testing our commitment as players, as people. Um, we've had to trust our coaches more. We've had to trust one another that we're working hard so that when we actually come back and when games do start, We've, we've done our job at home. We can trust the process that we've been working really hard so that um, when we come back, we'll be strong. We'll be just as good, if not better, um, as players, as individuals, as team players. Um, yeah, I think it's been, that has been super important, but um, it's been a really interesting time. This two months has been, uh, it's been like a roller coaster ride because there have been ups and downs. Obviously, not getting to, not getting to uh, play on the pitch is a really big uh, downside. But on the other hand, training at home enables you to like um, work on your weaknesses. Like I feel during this quarantine, I was able to work my weaker foot a lot because you can't really shoot that much, but you can dribble a lot. So in that way, you're getting a lot out of your left foot. Tremendously, I think, because uh, when we focus on, on ball mastery, for instance, um, we really focus online. We really do like a solid 40 minutes to an hour session of just ball mastery, which is something you don't do when you are training on the field with a team. You probably spend about 10, 15 minutes as a warm up, but um, this situation allows us to, you know, spend about 40 minutes to an hour of just proper working on our techniques and our ball mastery. I think it's been different across um, both the age groups that I take. Uh, with the girls in particular, we've focused on a lot of ball manipulation and skills and turns and tricks. So I think for the girls, they've enhanced a lot on their skills and technique uh, with the ball. Um, with the boys under 14s, it's been a little bit different. Um, we've worked a lot more on their strength and conditioning side, um, which has been challenging. And um, I've learned a lot about that over the last few months, um, planning sessions for the boys with the strength and conditioning. Um, so you can see a big difference now when they're doing certain exercises, um, how they're able to actually cope with that physical demand now. I would say my team improved massively in terms of fitness, because previously we really lacked fitness. That was one of the most challenging thing in terms of uh, competing. So this past three months, we've been working on uh, getting stronger, really working on each individual fitness uh, and the struggles they face because during the zoom sessions you can identify them and it's almost like a personal training session so we could work specifically to each uh, player and tailor to their needs what we worked on a lot was their weaknesses so a lot on the technical side their weaknesses on uh, for example they are passing with their weaker foot their ball masteries and things like that so um, the players have actually improved a lot in that sense uh, so it's been positive from that side of things, it's been really positive, yeah. Personally, I feel like we did a lot more ball drills and more 
uh, passing, so my first touch improved, my dribbling and stuff like that, yeah. Uh, he's helped me improve with my technique, my endurance and my a lot of my technique and my speed, my speed of the drills and the skills. Um, in terms of football, I would think that I have improved myself as a player because I was able to practice more ball control by myself and not necessarily with my teammates. And at the same time, I was able to bond with my coach more. These past three months, we've been working a lot on ball mastery. We've been working on agility, our agility and a lot on our fitness. So he has improved our fitness and agility a lot, really. So yeah, looking forward to future seasons.